square miles of floating forest. One of the most extraordinary, complex, and perhaps least understood ecosystems on the planet. Supporting migratory birds, dolphins, whales, turtles, fish, and even freshwater eels. The list goes on. But it is not just for charismatic megafauna. Hidden away in its branches, a remarkable collection of tiny creatures depend upon it for their home. And live their entire lives within it. The Sagassum crab and the Sagassum nudibranch shelter within the tangle. And the iconic Sagassum frogfish lies in wait to ambush its prey. Even we humans depend upon this floating forest as it breathes in vast amounts of carbon dioxide and the tiny organisms beneath its surface exhale the oxygen without which we cannot survive. This golden floating forest is called the Sagasso Sea. Way out in the middle of the Atlantic, the Sargasso Sea has for millennia remained unspoiled, protected by its remote location. But that is changing. We humans are now dramatically impacting even this pristine sanctuary. As a high seas ecosystem, the Sargasso Sea is remote and difficult to study, but we know that this oceanic forest is vital for the health of the ocean, our planet, and ourselves. Pollution, plastic, and climate change create a toxic brew that threatens to poison this unique natural phenomenon. And some of the ocean's most iconic creatures, humpback and sperm whales, manta rays, turtles, and sharks, all depend on the Sargasso Sea to thrive. Difficult to study and protect, providing countless ecosystem services, but not owned by any one country. The high seas has been called a tragedy of the commons. In 2006, the United Nations General Assembly began a consultative process on biodiversity in areas beyond national jurisdiction, which in 2023 produced the final 
legally binding agreement that will allow marine protected areas to be created on the high seas for the first time. This is the BBNJ agreement. The Sagasso Sea Project has been operating alongside the BBNJ agreement negotiations since 2010. With no formal avenue to conserve the Sagasso Sea at the time, governments came together to discuss an innovative way to protect it. And in 2014, the Hamilton Declaration on Collaboration for the Conservation of the Sagasso Sea was adopted in Bermuda. It has made a number of achievements for the conservation of this iconic ecosystem, from solidifying its importance in international fora to collaborative work on migratory species moving through the area, to the closure of some seamounts to bottom trawling in the Sargasso Sea. But there is a lot more work to do. Nearly half of the planet's surface is the high seas, most of which is less known than the Sargasso Sea. It belongs to us all, but we often treat it as if it belongs to no one. Not only is it in our self-interest to protect it, we must surely have a duty to look after it for future generations. Mm -hmm.